it really is about a 17 year old and I tried to capture the emotional reality of being 17 and I certainly remember when I was 17 I didn't have all the answers I mean I certainly didn't know everything about sex <laughs> I mean in those days uh, probably very little and and I just wanted to keep it real, um, you know, for that character. And and I think, you know, more importantly is the independence of this character. Uh, we see this character take a journey from her small town to New York City. We see her take an emotional journey, which is really what's most important to me. It's like, how does she find the self-confidence to take that next step in her life. And she has some ups and downs, and it's a coming-of-age story. So people always have an idea about what something's going to be before it comes out. And, um, you know, I, I only ever had any idea that it was going to be a coming-of-age story. So it's it's really... You know, it's so much less about sex and so much more about her finding her voice and who she is. It's been two years. Happy anniversary. Me and you, just us two. And in two years, amazing things can happen. I made it. I never make it. Look, Mommy. You're driving me crazy. I've tricked my body into thinking it's younger. When I first moved to New York, it was eye-opening. So I think it's going to be, it will be eye-opening. But one of the things that was so important for me with Carrie in the first book, The Carrie Diaries, and with this book, it's about her spirit. And it's about her core. And it's about that idea of you take yourself everywhere you go. And, you know, whether she's in her small town or she's in the big city, she's still going to be herself. And in fact, it's through being herself in the Carrie Diaries that she becomes friends with Donna LaDonna. And that leads to the connection with one of the characters from Sex and the City.